Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Canadian Car Pickers, and today we're going to open up a blaster box of the uh, 2011 score. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that this was 2011 and not the 2012-2013 that I've been opening up. So we're going to open this up, see what's in it. There's uh, 11 packs and 7 cards per pack, so we're going to see what we get. Uh, this is a Panini um, brand, it's not Upper Deck. So I don't, I guess, I guess they do have the, uh, um, the rights at this time because I'm not sure when Upper Deck got exclusivity for NHL stuff, but, um, yeah, my hope is that maybe I can get an auto or something from this. Uh, again, they do say look for autographs, but, uh, there's, there's no odds as far as i can see randomly inserted yada yada yeah there's there's nothing let's just hope we don't get a redemption because that, that would suck um wow there's a lot more packs in this than i thought or at least when i first bought it um all right so we're gonna start with the uh uh first pack we've got a cracker open see what we get if it doesn't open we got our knife that's the thing. I definitely like Topps's uh, cards more for the... Just, they, they work better. Or they open up easier. All right, so first up, we have Kyle Clifford from the Kings. Oh, there's a Brandon Sutter card for the Hurricanes. I recognize that name. Uh, then we have Cody McLeod for the Avalanche. Oh, there's P.K. Subban. Or Saban. Saban? Subban? All rookie team. Don't think this counts as a rookie card, though. No. No, it doesn't. Um, so we got that one there. Then we have Mathieu Guerin for the Lightning. Then we've got uh, Pierre-Marc Bouchard for the Wild. And then Dustin Bifuglian for the Jets. Although... Man, did the Jets? Oh no, this must have been the first year. This must have been the first year that they came back as the uh, Jets then, I guess. Did not realize that that was the year. Well, would you look at that. On to the next pack. No autograph or anything. I'd love one. That'd be super rad. I don't think I've gotten a hockey auto yet. Uh, first up, we have Michael Ryder. This is Stanley Cup playoff one which this makes me sad because this is the year when i think they beat out or was that 2007 no i think it was 2000 I, i'm crazy i can't remember um but when the bruins beat the canucks our best best run uh winnipeg jets chris mason then we have thomas caberl caber caberlay thomas caberlay the thing is just like Baseball, I haven't heard any of these names in forever, so, and especially if they're, you know, not an English normal name, I might butcher it, but, uh, so there's that, uh, we have Derek Brassard for the Blue Jackets, we have Tuka Rask for the Bruins, uh, Brooks Leitch, like, however it's pronounced, and then Johnny Boychuk, again, they, they gotta rub it in my face. By showing the brunes makes me sad <laughs> but that's the way it goes you know you just got to accept the wins and accept the losses all right so first up we have uh anti niemi oh there's a weird feeling card in the back uh then we have eric stall nhl r stall all-star game draft then we have steve downey we have Braden Shen, Jacob Kendall. Ooh, hot rookies, Brian Strait. So that must have been the one that felt maybe a little weird. And then Alex Ald for the Senators. That's a name that sounds familiar. On to the next pack. It's just, yeah, it's interesting seeing these old players. A lot of these guys are probably retired now. Come on. Uh, so we have Anti Niemi again. We have 
Rostislav Klesla, David Steckel, Jason Demers. Ooh, another hot rookie card. This is Ben Scrivens for the Maple Leafs. We have Supreme Team, uh, Henrik Zetterberg for the Detroit Red Wings. And then Derek Steppen. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any uh, Canucks. Don't know why they're hiding. All right. So we have Martin uh, Errett for the Predators. Chris Versteeg for the Panthers. Then we have Braden Prust or Proust for the Rangers. Followed by Nick Schultz of the Minnesota Wild. Matt Stajan? 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 Not quite sure. Of the Flames. Ooh, there we go. That's a beautiful one. Playoff heroes, Roberto Luongo. Man, watching him play in these playoffs was just the most beautiful thing. It was just insane. The guy was a beast. It was insane. Uh, and then season highlight, Corey Perry reaches 50 with a hat trick. Thanks. That's cool to get Luongo, though. That's appropriate, especially because we're kind of hunting, you know, with that playoff team. If you're a Canucks fan, that's, you know what I'm talking about. So we have Scott Clemenson for the Panthers. Then we have Blake Como, or Como. Alex Koligowski. Followed by Mark Mithot, I guess. Uh, the Blue Jackets. Then we have Ladislav Smid for the Oilers. Ooh, making an entrance, Jordan Eberl, or Eberl. I'm going to put that. I'll put it. Let's put, just put those all in there. Uh, and then we have Mark Giordano for the Flames. It's sometimes fun to open these old packs. Not, not because, you know, you're going to get some amazing card worth a bunch, but just... It's just fun. Just fun to open up some packs and see. Oh, we got Peter Forsberg for the Avalanche. Then we have Nathan Gerb. Na uh, Nazem Kadri or Nazim. I would assume, though, it's Nazem. Uh, then we have Michael Frolic for the Blackhawks. Followed by Magnus Pajarvi of the Oilers. Ooh, then we have Timu Hartikainen, hot rookie card for the Edmonton Oilers. That name is definitely familiar to me, like, recently. I'll have to check them and see how they're doing. Of course, it's score, so it's not like it's upper deck. It's probably not as valuable, these rookie cards and stuff. And then we have Paul Bissonette. That is the one downside to this is, you know, you end up having, you know, these cards but like nothing really has its own value or whatever uh we have miko or mika kiprasov for the flames alexander Bermistrov for the jets Ooh, henrik sedin nice got ourselves a canuck there then we have the washington capitals alexander semen then we have sudden death game winning goal in overtime the lightning against the leafs Simon Gagne. Then we have Hot Rookies, Colin Greening for the Ottawa Senators. And Scott Parse for the Kings. Okay, so we got one blue or one Canuck. Not not a lot. Not a lot. And our chances of an auto go down and down. Uh, we have Travis uh, Harmonic. For the Islanders, Dustin Bifuglian for the Jets again, uh, Christian Husilius, or Husilius, Dan Girardi for the Rangers, Andreas Nodel, Nodel for the Flyers, then we have Chris Phillips for the Senators, and then, don't know, this one's like a glossy one. Oh, yeah, this is a glossy 70. So this is Jochen Hecht, or Hetched. So, yeah, that's like a glossy, see that? Glossy card. Cool. Next up, 
Second to last pack. We'll see what it brings us. So we have Kevin Westgarth, Dan Ellis for the Ducks. We have Barrett Jackman for the Blues. We have Sergey Bobrovsky of the Flyers, followed by Henrik Carlson for the Flames. Then, ooh, we got a net cam card of Mika Kiprasov for the Flames. That's a cool one. And that's the one that they talk about to uh, look out for. And then to finish that one off, we have Brandon McMillan. So, yeah, what is it they say? It's look out. Oh, where was it? Uh, find net cam cards featuring sighting photos from behind some of the top goalies. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool little insert to do. All right, final pack. Let's see what we get. Maybe we'll get ourselves a uh, um, a Canuck, but we'll see. We got the Phoenix Coyotes before they became the Arizona Coyotes. Then we have Brandon McMillan again, Tyler Ennis for the Sabers. We have uh, oops, uh, Brent Seabrook for the Blackhawks. Then we have Corey Sarich or Sarek. For the Flames. Then we have Joe Colburn for the Maple Leafs. And to finish it off, we have Peter Budage. Or Budage. Budage? I don't know. Um, but there you have it. You know, I figured we'd just do a quick little opening of some stuff that I had kicking around. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it with a breakfast break or not. Um... But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm a bit sad that we, like, out of all of it, we got, you know, the one Luongo card and then the Henrik Sedin one. You know, if you're going to get two cards, at least you're getting a Sedin and Luongo. But, you know, is what it is. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you guys want more content like this. Uh, also... Make sure to subscribe because I'm doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, so you don't want to miss out. Once we hit that milestone, um, you know that'll that'll allow you to know when we hit it, as well as when I put out the video, letting you guys know uh, the requirements for it. Um, but I'll be giving at 500 uh, subscribers. I'll be giving away a Tops 2021 Series 2 Hobby Box, and then when we hit 1,000, I'll be doing a, a Jumbo Hobby Box, or it, it might be a different one. It'll it'll be whatever the um, uh, kind of most accessible Jumbo of the base series and stuff is. But yeah, there you have it. Thank you guys again for watching this video of us opening up some 2011 score. I appreciate it. Uh, checking out some old cards, you know, doing what we do. Um, and yeah, you guys have a good rest of your day, your night, or your morning, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!